while Mobile Cloud aims to offer a smooth experience where it is usually not necessary to connect to the database of a given environment, you might find yourself in a situation where you are curious and want to have a peek at what is going on behind the scenes. Hi, I'm Morten, and this is how to connect to an Embargo Cloud database. When you want to connect to the database for the first time, you will have to go through two steps. First, you need to whitelist your IP, so you actually have access to the Azure database. Once that is done, you can then go ahead and connect using your credentials. In order to whitelist your IP, you will have to be in the connection details page of your own Embargo Cloud project. To get to this page, you have to open your project on the Embargo Cloud portal, after which you can go to the settings menu in the top right corner and then click on connection details. On this page, you can both whitelist your IPs as well as finding the credentials for your different databases associated with your cloud project. We will take a look at the credentials in the next step of the video. To add your IP to the list, you have to click on the add new IP address, fill in your IP, and you can specify uh, the range if you want, and then simply click add IP address. Once that is done, you should see it in the list above. Now that the IP has been whitelisted, we can go ahead and connect to the database. You might notice that I have a new window on the right side of my screen. That is because I'm going to paste in my credentials and it's a lot easier to just have it on the right side compared to having to tap between the windows. As mentioned in the previous section, we can also find our credentials on the uh, connection details page. So if I scroll down a bit, you can see that I have both a development and a live environment tab. This is because each environment on your project has its own separate database. In this video, I'm going to connect to my live environments database. So I'm going to click on live, and then I'm simply starting, going to start to copy paste my values into SQL Management Studio, which is the program, program I'm going to use in order to connect. You can also use something like Heidi SQL or connect via Visual Studio Code, but that is totally up to you. Now, after pasting in your server name, login, and password, there's actually a fourth step that some people tend to forget sometimes, and that is to click on Options, and then paste in the name of your database. Once you have pasted in your server name, login, password, and database name, I can, you can go ahead and click Connect. In order to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on, I'm going to maximize the SQL Management Studio window. Now, if I go ahead and browse databases, and then my database name and tables, and I take some data from, let's say, Umbarco node, we can see that I have successfully connected to my live environment database, and I have, can see all of my uh, content in the different tables. And that's basically it. Now you know how to connect to your environment database and have a peek at what is going on behind the scenes. Thank you for watching. See you later.